Hello and thank you for joining us again for Art Rocks with me, James Fox Smith from Country Roads Magazine. Each fall, just north of Lake Pontchartrain, hundreds of artists descend upon Covington from all over the country to offer their finest artistic creations for sale. The Three Rivers Art Festival is a juried event featuring both visual and performing artists from across the gamut of media and disciplines, and it's been going on for a quarter of a century. Covington Three Rivers Art Festival is the largest juried show in the region. We have over 200 booths. We have artists that come from 26 different states, and it's really difficult to get into this show. I have 500 artists that apply and only 200 places to fill. This is not a, let me just pay my booth fee and get in. This is truly a juried show. My name is Alexander Brown, and I live in Florida, Mississippi, but my shop's in a little town on the Delta called Satarsha, Mississippi. Festivals are how I generate um, really 90% of my income. I travel the country uh, as far as Colorado, Virginia, and it's just a nice way. I enjoy the travel, I enjoy meeting the people, and they get to meet me. I'm kind of old-fashioned in the sense that I only work with solid blocks of wood. So I don't glue pieces, I don't paint wood, I don't stain wood. Everything you see is natural wood that comes from the area I live in, Mississippi. Anywhere in the southeast, really. And I put a clear finish on everything. So I kind of treat wood like marble in the sense that I'm always downsizing. I'm taking a block and I'm chipping away at it until I create the piece I had envisioned. I've done this festival about six to seven times. Uh, I really enjoy it. It's very well organized. They cater to the artists and it's just wonderful. And it's a great crowd here in Covington. My name is Paul Gillum. I'm with Blue Mountain Woodworks. I'm from Timbo, Arkansas. We drove about 500 miles to get here and we've heard it was a great show and that's why we're here. I brought my cutting boards, pizza pills, crab sets, small tables, Lazy Susans, uh, make all types of things, but it's unique, one of a kind, use a lot of native woods, a lot of exotic woods, no staining though, they're all natural, so you can actually eat off these boards. It's going good. My name is Josh Price. We are from Central Florida. The Donellan is the town we're from, near Ocala. We have brought some scrap metal animal sculpture, so my wife and I take everyday objects from flea markets, yard sales, thrift stores, occasional dumpster and then we make animals out of them. <laughs> we traveled about ten and a half hours here. My wife has a, some family here but we stay in the campsite and then we're staying in the parking lot over here today. This is what we do for a living. So we do festivals all over the eastern United States. Uh, we do about 35 to 40 a year. So the festival circuit is our income. My name's Terry Kennedy, I'm from Denver Springs, and I've done this uh, Three Rivers about three or four times. I love the area, I love the whole attitude of all the art lovers. These are actually wheel-thrown pottery that I do it with a little bit of a different twist. I like bright colors and I love flowers, so I actually throw it on a wheel and then I sit there and assemble it and I hand sculpt everything you see on the pieces. Being able to talk to the customers, I think that's half the experience of buying the art, is meeting the artist, and the artist really thrives off of the customers. They, they get inspired, they hear what the customers actually want and what they like about it. Most artists really depend on this for a good portion of their sales. Could be 20% or more, it depends on if they do these for a living. The time of year that it is, being right before people start buying for Christmas, that I think that this is the best show for artists because people are going to want to get their Christmas presents. This is a carefully curated show, so when you walk down the street you don't see just the same thing or the same type of art. Um, this is really truly a fine arts festival. Our artists are from watercolor, painting, 2D and 3D art, woodwork, metalwork, and everything in between. I like everything here. 
I like all of the paintings, the swamp scenes, and I like the jewelry too. There's a lot to, to choose from. To bring money. I love to admire the art, and I love to see where people are from. I love that people come together like us. We've been doing it probably about eight years. We have a lot of talent, things that I admire that I might not have in my home, but I still love to see and look at. You have one-of-a-kind things, ornaments, jewelry. I think it's just that people put a lot of love into it. They put their time into it. And it's just, you have a lot to choose from. And I love that it's here in a little small town of Covington, because usually you would have to go to the French Quarter or Jackson Square to see something like this, and we have it here in downtown Covington. This is for myself. John Mark Anderson. It's the Jesuit Church and it's, he has beautiful pieces. The New Orleans cemeteries, he has the cathedral, and I have a few other ones, so I just wanted to add to the collection. This piece by Christy Boutte caught my eye. This uh, beautiful, colorful alligator, it's going to my daughters in Seattle, Washington, to go in their rec room to remind them of Louisiana. I live here in Covington. It's great to have man, so many people here today. It's beautiful. And one thing I'm finding here too is that some people would shy away maybe from an event like this thinking the prices would be very high for handmade gifts or art. I don't find that to be the case at all. This is uh, just beautiful stuff. And again, many of these are regional artists. So that's important to build their clientele and craft in the area. It is just so much a gift that they have and then this gives them an opportunity to share it with the community. I love the art festivals. I love seeing all the different things made. They have a tremendous amount of booths. There's a lot of people here so you see a lot of different things. I'm Christmas shopping. This is a cheese cutting board. You cut your cheese on it. Okay. And I have a bracelet. These bracelets I find at all the different art markets and she is a, a Louisiana artist and I've been buying her stuff for maybe you know, eight or nine years. We have anywhere between 40 and 50,000 people that come through in two days and that really varies between the Saints game and LSU. So if the Saints game and LSU, if they're on then that could drop us about 20,000. People from all over the country come here. I've met people from Georgia, lots of places in Louisiana too, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Texas, they're just from all over and I think that's kind of the beauty of it too. You get to see a lot of different people from different places and different artwork. The crowd that we draw here, these people are true art aficionados. They know what they're looking for and they're a buying crowd. They want to get here, they want to buy and our hospitality here in Covington. The city has just adopted this festival and everybody just opens their doors to these artists and they make sure that they feel at home. Now we do have artists that come from as far as California. I've got someone from North Hollywood who drove just to come here. It took him two days to get here. We hope he does really well. We make sure that when we walk down the street, you can see each of our businesses. We have food trucks and local food trucks and local musicians. Most of our businesses have the best weekend that they have all year during Three Rivers. This is definitely one of those things that is important to the city in terms of income as well as the businesses that are here.